Hi everyone and welcome to the R programming tutorial. So to get started, all we need to do is download R and also since we're going to be using the R Studio IDE, we'll be downloading that. We'll do both in this video because it doesn't take very much time. So to start, we need to go to R project.org and from here you may get a website like this maybe it's changed but the general premise is we want to just download R itself and so you find something on there that says download R and they have this uh, the, a lot of links here you'll see one of them will just select one for you you could really click any of these it's not a big deal but to keep it simple let's just click this one at the top and from here it's going to send us to a page where we can download and install R for various different operating systems. Whichever one you're using, click that one. I imagine most of you are on Windows, and that's what I'm on, so that's what we're going to do here. So we'll download R, and then it's going to take you to the subdirectories here, and we just want base. So we'll click on base, brings us to this final page where we can download R 3.3.3 for Windows. By the time you watch this video, maybe it's uh, a newer version. That's fine. Don't worry about that. Just click download, and then we'll download this file here. It's an executable. And when it's finished, we'll just walk through this real quickly because this is real simple. There's not much to worry about. Uh, I can spend a lot of time worrying about the things, but we can also just blast through it real quickly here. So click OK, click Next, click Next. Pick your directory. Maybe you want to change it. Uh, maybe you don't so you can go with the default here but I'm going to change mine because I need to do that for disk space reasons and I'll click next and then next again default settings perfectly cool uh, shortcuts again we don't need to worry about this kind of stuff so just click next accept what it's given you don't worry about it and then we'll be finished here shortly and we can go and grab our studio so this is just downloading R itself. So R Studio, where we're going to be spending most of our time, is actually the more or less the interface that we're going to be working in. That's where we'll do our programming. That's where we'll see our plots. And this is what's driving the results. So we'll never really utilize this like directly, but it's going to be working for us in the background. All right, the next step, go to rstudio.com. And these are the guys who create the IDE that we like to use. And we just want to find the product RStudio. So somewhere in here, you can find it, download it for your desktop, RStudio desktop, and make sure you get the free version here. So we can get the download RStudio desktop free version. And we'll download that. I mean, it's good. it could send us, these, these websites could change by the time you look at it again. So just make sure you're going and finding our Studio desktop free and downloading it. The installers here, again, they're going to have one for different operating systems. So make sure you just get the installer for your operating system. Mine's Windows, so I'm going to grab that. And it looks like it's 80 or so megabytes. So this should be done pretty soon. Uh, we can just launch this. And I'll walk you through the install here. So welcome to our studio setup wizard. Click next. Click where you want to put it. I'm going to change mine to the F drive, but you can leave it at the default. It doesn't matter. And then, yeah, sure. We'll start menu. Call it our studio. And now we're installing. So maybe this will take a little bit of time. So I'll uh, pause the video and come back when it's closer to the end here. All right. That seemed to be a lot faster than I expected. So anyways, should be done here. Click finish and that's it. So in the next video, I'm going to open up our studio and we'll get it all set up. See you then.